Do you know what can be very annoying? When your laptop only has one screen. Why is that? Well, if you're trying to do multi-area workflows, video editing, if you're a student or professional, you have to try to squeeze everything onto that screen, especially if you have a smaller screen. Schwam, not anymore. Here is a dual monitor setup. Uh, so it gives you a triple monitor setup altogether. Z80A by QQH, uh, the L laptop screen extender. So this is essentially going to add quite a bit of screen real estate. It's a 15.6 yeah, 15 inch screen and a 15.6 inch screen. You essentially put your laptop in the center area there and then you get massively more screen. It's got some good weight to it. Uh, it's got a metal ring around it though. So you get some structure there. That'll help prevent it from being a wobbly boy. So you get a nice metal ring around all three pieces, the center and the two screens. Bottom as well, metal. Metal hinge there as well. So you're getting a lot of metal structure here. So it's not gonna be a floppy kind of cheap thing feeling overall. Very good. Open this up here. It's gonna be hard to film this because there's gonna be so much general screenage. I might have to actually like bring my camera back and that's totally fine. So that's screen one there. You can see it's a nice screen. A little bit of bezel, but that's mainly where the controls are there. Not too bad over here. Very good, like that. So look at how much screen there is now. Of course, the laptop's gonna sit in the middle, and that's that. Now, your laptop is not all gonna be the same size, so these hinges here are multi-hinged, uh, multi so we can go like this here. And you can see this one is you know, at a 90 degree angle. This one's at a 90 degree angle, so let's come back here. Right? So if your laptop is bigger, you can fold it like that and fold it out. That'll give you a little bit more room. If your laptop is large, is smaller, like mine, you'd probably want to go with something like that there, where it's going to be at a 90 degree. So you can adjust it as needed. Very good. These are your areas here. So that's the one for power that's going to go to your computer. So in theory, I won't need the power for that there. And you do get a little stand in the back. Now, there are these type of triple monitors. There's several types. One of them actually hinges... Uh, hinges, that's not the right, clasps onto your laptop. So it actually has a clasping mechanism that goes onto your laptop. There's an advantage of that in that you don't necessarily need a stand on the back as much, but the disadvantage is one, there's a lot of weight uh, going onto your hinge of your actual screen over here. You know, a lot of weight being held up because this hinge is actually gonna hold up the whole device. So you don't have that here. You actually have its own little stand and there's actually nothing pinching onto your screen here, right? So there's actually nothing going in here and pinching the sides of my screen, potentially ca causing damage. Okay, so let's get it set up here. We'll start over here. Uh, I mean, there's a few different ways we could do that. We could actually go with the flat one that's gonna go back. Okay, so it's doing stuff. You can't hear it, my volume's down, but it was going brum, brum, brum. So it just took a second. Uh, it found the drivers on its own. That's good. You don't have to necessarily get the drivers. It's all gonna depend on your computer. Some people, you know, your laptop won't find the drivers or you're not connected to the internet in which case you have them in that little USB-C, which is back there. In my case, it did. Next up, okay. So I think they're in the reverse order. That's two, yeah, so we'll flip those around. Go that there, go that there, kind of like that. You tell it how you want it to be, and I want it to be like that. Okay, so now two, right, so that's good now. Okay, very good. So that's fine. Uh, brightness, okay, so we'll come in there, and we will go brighter. Whoop, that's, you gotta actually hit the button. Brightness, brightness. Go brighter, so it starts fairly dim, but it should get pretty bright actually. Oh yeah, it's gonna get pretty bright. This is a very bright screen that we're comparing to, by the way, the center one. So, uh, I mean, if these are able to even, you know, look good beside them, it's actually a good thing for these uh, portable monitors because it's gonna essentially mean that, you know, it's not gonna look like crap. This is a very, 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 very premium high-end screen. And so I want this to be at least look relatively fine beside it uh, without, you know, being a disappointment and being like, oh my God, it looks terrible. Uh, colors, I probably just leave it, honestly. It looks like it comes in sRGB mode. Now you can tweak them if need be. Uh, game, standard, movie, what are the differences there? Game brightens it up slightly so you can see hidden, hidden enemies. It's fine. Movie, mm, not sure which one I like. Hmm, it's looking fine. Okay, so those all look good. We have hue, saturation, etc. What's other? Reset menu, oh, the on-screen display, information. Okay, so now one thing you might want to do is you're gonna come in here. You'll notice that this screen here, uh, the actual like taskbar is larger. So we can come in here, go like that there, and we can change the scaling, mainly because they're different resolutions. If you have two 1080p screens at similar resolutions, this won't matter. 
but I do not. We have various screens here. So we go like that there. I think probably 125 is probably fine. You could go smaller, like you could go all the way down to 100, right? And that's gonna close it. That's gonna make the taskbar similar to that. So we'll just do both. We'll just, why not show both? We have multiple screens we can test on. Okay, so that's good. So now I have this screen here, uh, which is now set up at 100% scaling. So you can see the taskbar there is actually similar to the taskbar there. Very good. And it's set on like a vivid mode, which actually it brightens it up a little bit. Over here, we're on standard mode. I actually think I like the standard mode, to be honest. It looks better over there. Honestly, it just looks, it actually looks more saturated. And I have a one level up scaling, which actually looks a little bit crisper too. So remember, these are secondary monitors. A lot of times you get portable monitors. Um, you know, they're not going to be the same similar exact monitor to the monitor they're using. You just have to be aware of that, right? Like maybe I have an OLED or maybe I have a mini LED or I have this type of glossy screen versus a not glossy screen. You know, there's different options there. So you are going to be aware that they're going to be slightly different. However, for me, because of this monitor, it's actually fine because I have a non-glossy. This is a non-glossy IPS screen. This, These here are also non-glossy, which is nice. Let me turn on a light here, right? So that's a bright light. That's a spotlight, right? You can see how bright that is. Like that's a bright, bright, bright light. And I'm shining it right at the screen and it's actually really not that bad. Like that's really not that bad in terms of reflectivity, worst case scenario. So if you're taking this to you know, a business scenario, school scenario where you're indoors and you have a lot of overhead bright lights in that, you're not gonna have the issue of this thing being just, you know, like washed out or super reflective. So that looks fine. Honestly, it looks just fine there. Uh, blacks are good too, uh, really good actually. Possibly actually better than my primary screen here to be honest, yeah, they are. Um, this is a decent like black level. It's not the best screen in the world in terms of blacks, but it's good for an IPS, like decent. These are actually really good blacks. So the blacks there are really good. This one might have slightly higher color space, 100% um, DCI-P3. So there's a little difference in the way they look, but the blacks here are actually very good. So that looks nice right off the bat. Interestingly, the greens look very vibrant. I was worried about the greens being quite washed out on this screen over here, but that's certainly not the case here. The greens are actually looking pretty good. Yeah, they don't have that weird yellow tone to them, but like sometimes if you get a lower color space screen, the yellows, be the greens become kind of yellow and look dead essentially. We don't have that here. So it's certainly not a crushed color space. It's not gonna be in the same as my monitor, my, my primary screen here, um, but it's certainly not crushed because these aren't coming out like weird yellow, like a 45% NTSC screen. So that's good. I like to see that. So the colors are looking pretty good there and the blacks are pretty good. Um, not quite as saturated reds as my primary, but overall, I'm pretty happy with the colors there, especially as, you know, portables. These are portable secondary screens, right? And so here is where is where I am doing, jeez, can't type, am doing my essay writing portion, right? Taking notes. Now, the other thing is I'm also a data scientist type person. Um, I work in GIS and I work in statistics and health sciences and that kind of stuff. So often I have data spreadsheets. So what I can do then is, you know, I can have an Excel doc. Here's an Excel document. I was just looking at some different laptop specifications here. It's super dark right there. And, uh, you know, I have that in the center there, but normally what I would do, you know, I can bring this over here, for example, if I can look at my mouse, bring that over here, you know, throw that up on the screen here. Now what I have going on here is I have a spreadsheet over here that I'm working on extra data. I can have my primary Word document over here that I'm working on. And then maybe over here, I have some type of research, right? So over here, we're gonna be writing an essay on the QQH triple monitor. You know, you bring in your multimedia type stuff over here, writing over here, and then I'm actually transferring my documents over here, right? So that's one of the huge advantages for this as a student. I've said before, and I've looked at some triple monitors, and I said in that video, was a student back in the day when I was a student undergrad or masters, this thing would have been unbelievable. Video editors, of course, you know, if you have, if you do video editing, you come in here and you work on your whole back video editing file. Where did you go? Here you are. So I open up a brand new video. Now, normally what I'm doing is I'm constantly flipping back and forth, back flipping back and forth between my video editing software and wherever I have my files. So this is a totally unrelated thing that I'm working on. You know, I can bring this over here. These are my video files. Have those over there so I can actually freaking see them, right? That's nice. I can have my actual video thing here. And then if I have auxiliary data, because, you know, I actually do sometimes, not all the video, not all the time, but I do have videos where I would have actual data involved with them. I can have that on a third monitor. So I'm not in one single screen, constantly flipping back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, which makes video editing on my laptop a massive pain in the ass. I do it, but only for basic videos. When I'm getting into a complicated video, I have to use my desktop because I cannot stand constantly flipping back and forth. It gets overwhelming. Whereas here I have everything in front of me. 
Okay, we'll just, we're just gonna plug that because it's kind of a pain with the way the microphone is. Another thing you can do, you know, you can do for different setups. So they actually advertised this. I didn't think of it, you guys did, like the creators of the company. So you can come like this here, right? Let's get my laptop out of there, right? Set that up kind of like this, something like that. Now let's say I'm working in a group scenario, right? My laptop would be here in front of me. I just don't want to fit, don't know where to put it. it. Would be here like this. And now all of a sudden, let's see what's going on on these other screens, right? Now all of a sudden I have a screen here for my one partner. I have a screen over here for my other partner or if I'm doing some type of presentation in a smaller group, right? You can have screens showing to other people away from you. Like otherwise, what am I going to show them? The back of my monitor, my back of my screen. That's all they're going to see here. They're going to be able to see the other side of it. Something like that. That looks pretty cool. So now we have this going on here. I guess I should open up my screen there. Vertical documents go hard. They go hard. Have it. If it was the other way, it would be the other way around. Keep changes. And now look at this now, right? Uh, I'll just come up here. I'll tell it it's actually taller because it is something like that there. And now, now, now I have a vertical document over here. You know how many people have desktop setups where they have vertical documents? So now what you have, right? So my reading pane is over here, all right? I'm able to see full length documents. For example, if this was a document, I could put a full document in there, technically more, but you know, a PDF or something like that, I have a really nice long full document in there, fantastic. Or website, website scrolling, right? Rather than having a tiny little area, you have this huge full document here. And then of course I still have my standard setup there. So that's another awesome setup here. This is one of the ways that I'd probably use it quite a bit. And the fact that it has that base back there, uh, you know, it's not wobbly or anything like that. Like you're not going to knock this thing over. You'd have to hit it and throw it away. Okay, and so I guess that's that. These are the QQH triple monitor setup, which offers two extra monitors. And they look good. They work good. It's easy as plug it in. In my case, it's plugged in and it need the extra drivers. And then after a few seconds, I guess it just figured out what it was and it works. Uh, you have multiple setups. You can go, you know, planar, horizontal. You can set up a triangle like they said. Kind of cool. Uh, this is, I think, how most people are going to use it. They're going to plug their, sit their laptop here plug it in and boom, all of a sudden you go from one singular screen up to a three screen real estate, which can really massively boost productivity. And importantly, uh, you know, it's not gonna be pinching on your screen. It's not gonna cause any degradation. It has its own stability in the back there. And it's also going to have a small footprint. So you only have the footprint, small footprint back there and a little bit up here for your laptop. So you can actually use a fairly small desk and still set, get this thing cooked, uh, set up. So it's very good. So that's those there. Yep. If you're interested, I'll put some links in the video description down below. If I can find any like affiliate links or anything on Amazon, I'll put those down. Uh, I'll just put some direct links to their website as well, but either way, uh, it's definitely cool. I mean, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. So there you go. It's, it works great.